Hello and welcome to today's review. Now this should be interesting. I haven't done a race review in two weeks. And also I haven't done a video in the studio in two weeks. So it's sort of going to be a uh, fun. I haven't played this I also haven't played this game in two weeks. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the last two weeks of the race. Now I said um and the New Hampshire one obviously that, that was made the same week as the Kentucky review race so we're going to talk about Kentucky we're going to talk about New Hampshire and we're going to talk about the uh, preview of Indianapolis so first let's talk about the other two races so first of all Kyle Busch won both of those races and uh yeah that's basically all that now they had the new um aero package at Kentucky which was a uh I thought it was pretty cool. The racing, I feel like, was a bit better uh, than what we've seen the other times at Kentucky or uh, really any track. I thought the racing was a bit better there uh, this season. That race, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I had to sneeze. I was going to mess up my video. Okay. That's why I wasn't saying anything. Okay, so I thought that the racing was, um, it was, it was pretty good. I liked it. The New Hampshire, um, was well, New Hampshire, I guess. Uh, um, you know, actually I got home in time for vacation to watch it. So I might have had the opportunity to make the video, but I just, I don't want to take the risk because I didn't really know what was happening, um, last weekend. So, uh, the New Hampshire is sort of short, but, um, yeah, so that was the last two races. So here we are, Indianapolis now, um, now, no company has beat Chevy at Indianapolis in years. So that would make my picks a bit better. Now, personally, if you ask me, well, what company do you like better of the ones that race in NASCAR? I would not pick Chevy. I like, um, I like the Fords. I like the Ford Fiesta. I think that's cool. So that's probably my favorite of all the cars that the three manufacturers would make would be the Ford Fiesta, so I'd pick a Ford if I had to pick one of the cars. So Chevy's not my favorite one, but for my favorite drivers, Kyle Larson and Kevin Harvick, they both drive Chevy, so every week I want a Chevy to win. Um, in Indianapolis, you have a good shot of that. So, in, qual in practice, the uh, Chevys did good in that. They won two of the... Uh, Three, and I also think, or did they win all three? I'm not sure, but I know that if Toyota did get the pull, Carl Edwards has the pull for the second week in a row here. Um, last week at New Hampshire. So, Joe Gibbs is getting back to being a good team. Now, last year at Indianapolis, we've seen um, Jeff Gordon win for the fifth time. So, will he win it again? I hope. I hope he does. It'd be cool to see him win um, at the stroke for a final time. You know, get his win this season. That'd be nice. So, um, Indianapolis. One of the most historic tracks that NASCAR races on. And it's, um, you know, it's a IndyCar track. It's not a... Uh, NASCAR track. Most of the tracks that the two series will both race on, um, Indy and NASCAR, most of the time, if they go to the two, it will be Indy cars going to NASCAR tracks. You know, they'll go to some of the uh, 1.5 mile tracks that NASCAR races at. So this time it's the opposite. NASCAR will go to Indy tracks and um, do the Brickyard 400. So. I thought that's sort of cool that they get to do that. Now this track opened in 1909, the first race was. So over a hundred years of racing at Indianapolis and NASCAR in 1994. And, uh, you know, I think that is a, Indianapolis is an interesting track now. This week they're running a different rules package here, similar to uh, how they did a switch at Kentucky. They're running the rules package of a taller spoiler. 
and a bigger splitter. So it's sort of the opposite of what they did for um, the other one, Kentucky. So you look at the spoiler of this car in this game, I don't know why the Toyotas have a bigger spoiler, but it's sort of like that kind of idea. The spoiler will be bigger like this. Now, I'm not sure how that's supposed to help, but I guess I want to make passing here a bit better. Now, Indianapolis is a unique track. NASCAR doesn't have another 1.5 mile track for the rest of the regular season before the chase. You got Indianapolis, Michigan, Bristol, Richmond, Watkins Glen. What else? Yeah, Indianapolis, Michigan, Bristol, Richmond, Watkins Glen. Um, Darlington. Some one other track gets in there. I don't know. Another track is starting to that mixed up. Oh yeah, Pocono. That's right. So none of them are. That's so we got two short tracks, a road course, two and a half miles. Actually, two two and a half miles. One shape of triangle, one shape of rectangle. A um, mile track, not a mile track, but you know, we got short tracks, road courses, and two miles and two and a half miles. So there's no one and a half miles, so it's an interesting. So we get to see who will do the uh, best of those. But Indianapolis, let's take, take a lap, drive around it, tell about the track, and then we will do the. Curtis makes his picks that they're typically wrong, except for Phoenix earlier this year game. That's right. I've picked one right so far. Okay, so here we go. Now you're just going to go into the corner, and you're just going to hit the braking. Now you want to take a long the bottom line. Now this is pretty good. And then you're going to come up, and you got a little, short little straightaway here. And you're going to go down again into the corner. This is turn two. Now there are four separate turns instead of two turns sort of being together. And they count separate turns. I don't know why. But here you go. So now a long back straightaway. And then you're going to go on the brakes. Try to get down to the bottom. You're going to go up again onto the other small straightaway. On the brakes. Into the corner. You're going to come up off the back. Off the turn four. Down the front straightaway. Now the... Uh, Finish line is a bit further down, closer to turn one. There it is, across the bricks. Now, pit road here is also a bit different because you have to go all the way along on this separate little route, all the way along here. Now you're going to keep going along the pit road here, and you're going to go along. Here we go. Here we go. Now you're going to start getting to speed, and on the back straight, but you're not going to want to do that. You're going to want to wait till right here, and that's when you can start blending onto the track. And you'll probably be seeing that a couple times during the race. So, now it's time for the Curtis Picks, the track driver that probably won't win it. Unless we're talking about Phoenix. Um, that's right. Of all the race videos that I've done so far this year, I have picked correctly at one track. I picked Kevin O'Hiver to win Phoenix. No, I, d I did pick right at Dover, too. I also picked... I picked Jimmy Johnson to win Dover, so I picked twice correctly this season. So, who do I have this week? You guessed it, Kevin Harvick. And I also have Jeff Gordon and uh, Jimmy Johnson. Now, for those of you out there picking, also, if you wanted to go, don't listen to me necessarily. You might want to pick this guy right here. Kyle Bush. Three wins in the last four weeks. He's on a roll. So thank you guys for watching these race reviews. It's awesome to go onto my channel and look down the list and be like, dang, this video got watched, you know, because the race reviews, I like doing them a lot of time on the race. This is something I like. I have a, a lot of interest in NASCAR races, obviously. I've liked it for years since 2008 and really to be able to uh you know sit here talk to you guys about it have you guys listen to uh the things that i'm telling you my opinions 
stuff like that, the different new stuff about the race. I think that's sort of cool. And, uh, you know, make sure you follow on Twitter, at WCW47, if you guys are interested in some of the NASCAR stuff, because uh, I retweet some of my favorite uh, stories, pictures, comments on the drivers, and uh, stuff like that, you know? So if you want to see some of my favorite tweets from the drivers, some of the best stuff during the race, make sure you go check that out. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week to review whatever track is next week. I get Pocono. I'm not sure. Either way, we'll see you next week to review a race. <laughs> yeah.